Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I make my soy ginger meatballs. It has the perfect balance of sweet and salty with a little hint of spiciness. We're going to start off with one pound of ground turkey and we're prepping it with two teaspoons of turmeric, one half teaspoon of monk fruit sweetener, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ginger, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of mustard powder, and one teaspoon of black pepper. And then mix all of that until it is nicely blended. I'm heating up about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and you want to make sure that this is on a low setting because it pops a lot once this oil gets hot. With the cookie scoop, I'm just scooping the meatballs onto the pan and then this should make about 15 meatballs. After the bottom has a nice brown color, I'm going to go ahead and flip the meatballs onto the other side. For the sauce, I'm using three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon of monk fruit sweetener, and then a dash of ginger and I'm just mixing all of that together. And then I'm adding one teaspoon of gochugaru. This isn't really that spicy, it just gives it a little kick and some really good flavor. I'm removing the meatballs from the pan, just leaving the juice in the pan. With the remaining sauce in the pan, I'm just adding some mushrooms and then I'm also adding a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. I added a little bit of water to stop the mushrooms from sticking and then I removed that and added some spinach and cooked the spinach in the same pan. These meatballs are so good and it's like a burst of flavor that gets balanced out by the mushrooms and the spinach. So I hope you guys try these out and I'll see y'all in my next video.